Ten Hag, Sir Alex Ferguson, Roy Keane, Paul Scholes, Rio Fernand, Gary Neville, Stephen Housen, Mark Goldbridge, and any other people you can think of, can you hear me? Your boys have just took one hell of a beating last night. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Geordie View. And yes, Manchester United nil, Newcastle United 3. Wow. I mean, let's just start by getting up our starting 11 for this game. I knew that, um, you know, likes of Target, Dummett, Livermental, Hall, um, Willock. I knew these guys were going to come into the starting 11. I didn't expect to see Dubravka start. Emil Kraft, first appearance for 40 months since that. He got the injury against Tramia. And he was playing centre-back in a back four. Um, must be the first time he's um, ever done that. Well, first time for abs- for a very long time. Probably since the Steve Bruce days. Matt Ritchie starting. Was not expecting that. Well, sorry, his first start against the Premier League side since December 2021. We didn't even have, you know, a recognised out-and-out striker for the game. Gordon had up top. And to be fair, he actually did all right. That team had just turned over Manchester United 3 0 at Old Trafford. I know they're in a mess right now and they've not been the same since Fergie left, but wow, Eddie Howe, I knew he was a genius, but wow. I mean, I said it too much, to be fair. But uh, we'll get into the game. Five minutes in, I'm thinking oh, another injury when Target, I think, he pulled his hamstring. Unfortunately, he had to come off. And um, Almiron came on for him. Then um, the first goal came from Livermento, winning the ball off um, Garnacho. He just a brilliant, brilliant run from him. You know, I'd love to see this lad start more games. I mean, obviously Trippier is our you know, main starting right back, but um, you know, the lad's also 33 years old. We can only rely on him to start so many games, but Livermento, what a run from him. It's a lovely ball to um, Almiron, who gets in and then just puts it away to make it 1 0. And um, we made it 2 0. Almiron involved again. He gave the ball to um, Willock. Willock, he got tackled, but he got the ball back. Puts the cross in, it's headed out, but then it comes to Lewis Hall, who just bodies it in for to make a 2 0. Only a second star for us, and he's got his first goal for the club. <sighs> just a fantastic body, and um, Yard is just need, they should be giving Eddie like more of food for thought. Like, you know, potentially we could bring these lads in, like Livermore and Hall, to like Premier League and Champions League games, as well as. You know, the cup games. But then, um, you know, maybe we're better prepared to have depth for this. I mean, yes, obviously Barnes and Tonali. Shame what's happened with them, lads. But I would have foreseen um, what would happen. Um, Man United, well, Mason Mount did have a chance shortly before half time. It was a good save from Dubravka. I mean, I know this lad's been going downhill, but, you know, the commentator actually mentioned he's not sold a single goal in 2023, and it's November now. For an attacking midfielder, I mean, I knew it was underperforming, but dear me, man. And um, we made it 3 0. Uh, Joel Linton got the ball off Amravat. I mean, Eric Ten Hag made a couple of changes at half time. Casemiro had to go off with an injury. Um, but Joel Linton. Won it off Amrabat, gave it to Willock. Lovely run from him into the area, just fires it into the bottom corner. It's 3 0. And um, his first start of the season for Willock, because he's done all right off the bench against Dortmund and uh, Wolves. And then, um, yeah, it's going to be uh, crucial for us, um, you know, going forward. And. Um, it's a lovely finish from him. Scored against Man United when we beat them 2-0 early in the league last season. 
and now he scored against them again in the Carabao Cup. And um, you know, Eric Ten Hag, he made change. He made a few changes. He brought on Hoyland, Rashford, Bruno Fernandes, but it was too late. The game was done. Like, if he was serious about winning the cup, I mean, I I could understand why he might not be serious about winning the cup, but. You know, it was just too late for them to do anything. I mean, Bruno Fernandes had a chance which he wasted. I mean, put it this way: if we if we were, if we were back in lockdown and empty stadiums, when he was actually on form, he probably. I'm almost certain he buries that unless you know Dubravka makes um unless they keep making a crack and save. And by the way, I've got to say Dubravka. Uh, impressed with him again, you know, Kraft and Dummett as well at centre back. I mean, particularly Kraft, his first appearance since that Tramia game, as I mentioned. Um, we nearly made it 4-0. I thought I had. I mean, was it Almiron who gave it to Longstaff? Captain on his 150th appearance. Came so close to marking that with a goal. Um, had a shot which went just wide. But, um, yep, yeah, this the game ended 3-0. And that's Manchester City and now Manchester United. We've knocked out of the Carabao Cup and we've reached the quarterfinals. And, um, yeah, we've got another one of the greedy six in the next round. Chelsea. I cannot really class them as big six. I mean, because Chelsea have gone down. Chelsea are bottom half at the minute. And they were bottom half last season. So, um, again, that's another club that, you know, Forry feared 10 years ago. Go, but not anymore at the minute. I mean, uh, obviously, I've heard it be at St. James's Park, but um, who says we can't, um, you know, get another win in this competition, make the semi finals again, uh, go to Stamford Bridge and win? We've already beat them 13 years ago, 4 3, when uh, Sean Lamiobi headed home in stoppage time. <sighs> but, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say for this video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe to my channel, check out my social media pages in the description below. Let us know what you thought of the um, game in the comments below and um, the draw. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.